Hi, and thanks for following the Bite Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb G2. Continuing where we left off, I'm going to give you a tour of the second environment, showing you how to teleport from one environment to the other, as well as resetting your environment in case you want to do that. By the way, welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and also VR educational entertainment. If it's your first time here to the platform, very nice to meet you. And a big welcome back, a huge, massive welcome back, in fact, to all our regular subscribers. Always awesome to have you with us. In the previous videos, we looked at how to set up the audio, the microphone, and also optimize all the graphics so you don't have any stutter of any kind when you launch SteamVR for the very first time, as well as fixing any black screen issues if you can't see anything inside of your VR headset. Assuming that you're continuing from the previous video, just click on the Windows logo button on your controller, which will bring up your overall navigation panel. Now align your controller to the top right hand side where it says places and click on that with your trigger. Now what you'll see will happen is a 3D object will magically appear in your main environment. And this 3D object is actually a preview of the 3D environment which we'll be going into very shortly. So in order to enter, just simply align your controller towards it and then click with your trigger. It will tell you to click again in order to teleport to that environment. Now, by the way, if you want to reset your home environment by default for whatever reason that might be, simply click again on the Windows logo icon button on your controller, bring up the main navigation UI, and then this time click on settings. Now this will bring up your main Windows Mixed Reality settings panel. Now scroll down until you find Mixed Reality. To scroll down, all you have to do is press and hold on the trigger as you align your controller to the actual window itself. Now once the page loads up, click on environment on the left hand side. Now there's a couple of options that you can do here. You can either clear the entire environment data including any boundary data, but that's not what we want to do. So click on the second option below. After you clicked on reset my home, you'll see that all the panels will go back in place as per the video. Now, as you can see, the environment is very different. It's no longer a cityscape. It's more of a landscape with the sea. And if you go by one of the edges and look at the sea, especially if your settings are bumped up to high and also the high resolution inside of the Mixed Reality software, you'll really be able to notice the waves it's pretty amazing inside. You'll notice inside of one of the rooms of the cliff house is more like a cinema kind of room. Now, although there are a couple seats, unfortunately, you can't sit at the seats. So you're not going to get that immersion as if you're sitting down there and then watching a movie. You're probably going to have to use another app called Big Screen, for example, where you can watch some really cool movies in VR and do hit the notification bell after you subscribe. So you do be notified when I upload the video about this app using the HP Reverb G2. All right, let's both meet up in the next video where I'll share with you some more cool tips and tricks, especially to do with relation to the media. I'm going to show you how to take pictures, screenshots, video and that kind of stuff. All right, let's go.